What's up y'all, in today's video I'm going to show you how I go about mixing vocals with stock logic plugins as well as how I treat vocal doubles in a chorus. Check this out. Well, but let's take a listen to how this vocal mix is sitting. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry goodbye Red dirt and gravel flying A broke car and cop cars won't stop her She's on a straight line through hell Awesome. So the first thing I want to point out is where the vocal doubles are. They're not happening all throughout the chorus, only on certain words. And I'll show you how I have these doubles affected because we only have one double. Usually when I like to do doubles, I like to take two separate passes outside the lead vocal. So you have your lead vocal center, then you have a double on the left and a brand new double on the right. Maybe you don't have enough time to do that many doubles. I could show you how to do one double and make it seem like it's perceived coming out of both ears. There's not much going on the channel itself. It's more going on on this bus right here where I have most of the layers of compression and EQ going on. But just listen how this, these, this vocal mix sounds acapella. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry goodbye. Red dirt and gravel flying. A broke car and cop cars won't stop her. She's on a straight line through hell or hell water. I love what that double brings to it. Here's a listen without that double. He took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry goodbye. Red dirt and gravel flying. Here's with that double, just mixed in slightly. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry goodbye. Red dirt and gravel flying. A broke car and cop cars won't stop her. She's on a so what's making that double sound so wide is I have this Roland Dimension D. Now this is a third party plugin. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry goodbye. But I'll show you how to achieve this exact same thing with a stock logic plugin. So let's come in here to your delay. Let's do sample delay. I do this a ton. And we're just going to delay one of these sides, which in this instance will be the right. Let's see how this sounds. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry goodbye. Red dirt and gravel flying. A broke car and cop cars won't stop her. She's on a So that's actually a little bit wider than the Dimension D was. It's just a, depending on taste, which one you would like. But uh, this is definitely a, a suitable substitution if you don't have that dimension D and I'll just drop this level and let's listen to this back one more time here are the sounds she took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry goodbye red dirt and gravel flying a broke car and cop cars won't stop her she's on a straight line through hell or hell water I love what that does you know so there's not a whole lot going on in that double track just a little bit of compression that's what's happening here. In a fast car like Bonnie, no and some DSing, which we can have a logic DSer on there as well. I'll just throw that on there just for an example. Show you guys how to set up your DSer. This is only on the double. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry goodbye. Red dirt and gravel flying. A broke car and cop cars won't stop her. She's on a straight line. We can do the same thing for that lead vocal. And what I'm doing here with this DSer is you choose your frequency. Obviously, it's going to be on the higher frequency range of the sibilance that you're going to want to take out. So usually I like to keep this around, you know, 5 to 7K, anywhere around there. You can kind of shift around to see what sounds best. This max reduction here, as I move this knob, that's pretty much the level that it will allow overall to DS. So if you want to control it in a way to where it's not as harsh, I would bring this max reduction up to about three or four. That way the dB of reduction that you're having for that frequency is not going to be overwhelming and slamming at 25 dB or anything crazy like that. The threshold is how hard this plugin is thinking about DSing and, and how hard it's working overall. So since this is on the lead vocal, let's take a listen. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry goodbye. Red dirt and gravel flying. A broke car and cop cars won't stop her. She's on a straight line through hell or hell water. Ain't there yet, but she's off to a damn good start. 
trying to outrun love in a fast car. I think that sounds pretty good. So the DSing is happening where I can tell that it's working, but it's not overworking, which I feel like is super important when it comes to DSing. You don't want to hit it too hard and make sure that that reduction is not hitting past four or five dB, especially on DSing. I know I got a little bit of compression she took off in a and just a little bit of DSing on this vocal as it sits in the chorus. But when I go to this vocal stack here, this is where most of the work is happening. So let me take all the stuff on this stack off real quick. That way you can hear what's going on. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry, goodbye, red dirt and gravel flying. Here's in context with the mix. I'll even adjust the level so you can hear the difference. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry, goodbye, red dirt. So it sounds all right, but it's not near as exciting without the compression and a little bit of EQ. So I'll show you what we got going on here to build all this out. As you heard that back, that was still with the EQ and compression that was on the main vocal channels. But whenever you get up to this track stack here, that's where most of the magic is happening. So y'all will recognize this EQ. I made a post about this earlier. It's pretty much the same. EQ that I, I like to use, boost, boosting a little bit up towards 810K, cutting out uh, to about 130, 128 on the lows. And we have our first compressor here on this vocal stack, and it is the Vintage FET. So check what check out what this thing's doing. Took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no car, goodbye. All right, so we have a little bit of compression here. It's not doing too much. Got a 4.8 ratio. In a fast car. That's actually pretty aggressive for my taste in compression, but I, I like what these do together. Check this out. So I added a second compressor here, which is the Vintage Opto. It's just a different style of compression. And check out what these are doing together. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no car, goodbye. This ratio is a little bit lower on this opto compressor, my gain reduction meter is not going past this negative five. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry, goodbye. Awesome, so there's two compressors. Another thing that I like to do on my vocal, or my vocal stack, is to do more DSing. So you'll see similar settings here. I have this max reduction around five dB. Let's see how this looks. Took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry, goodbye. Red and gravel flying. Awesome, so it's not overworking at all. Check out what this last plugin does. This is the Tube EQ. I don't talk about this one enough. It's a great plugin. I pretty much just turn this thing on and it sounds awesome. So check out what it does to my vocal mix. This is without it. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry. This is with it. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry. So I want to over exaggerate to show you which frequency is happening. And I pretty much turned this thing on and boosted this high boost knob right here. I'm going to over exaggerate it just so you hear what to listen for. Took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry, goodbye, red dirt and gravel flying, a broke car and cop cars won't stop her, she's on. Without that little boost at 6K, these vocals just sound more dull to me. So it doesn't take much out of an EQ like this, just adding, it's like, it's like a little bit of seasoning to take, take it a little bit further. And that's what I like. That's how I like to use this type of EQ. Just a little bit makes a world of a difference. So I'll turn this EQ on and off so you can hear the difference it makes in context with the mix. Here's with it. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie, no cry, goodbye, red and gravel flying. Without it. A broke car and cop cars won't stop her, she's on a straight line through hell. So it's a very subtle difference, but in the context of a busy mix like this one where you have guitars, drums, everything slamming in the mix, you're going to want your vocals to cut. The way I get my vocals to cut is layering these compressors and then also you got to keep in mind those compressors are happening after a little bit of compression on the channel itself. Again, each compressor, each time that it's applied, it's not 
compressing more than 5 dB. So when you layer these things up, so I got three layers of compressor there. One on each of the channel strips. When I go to my vocal stack, I got two more there. I got another de-esser, meaning one on my vocal channel and then one on my track stack channel. And then I've got a little EQ going on on my vocal channel, just cutting out the lows. But most of the EQ magic has happened on this tube EQ on that vocal stack there. I feel like it brings so much. Here's another listen to what it's doing. He took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry goodbye. Without it. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry goodbye. With it. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry goodbye. Red dirt and gravel flying. Just love that, man. It makes it cut in a mix. So. Whenever you're trying to get vocals to cut, sometimes it's not more compression, more than it is finding a frequency. Sometimes I find that it's above 3K, three to five, six, seven K that you're boosting to really make it cut in a mix. But I talk about being very careful when you boost high frequencies because you don't want it too pointed uh, in the mix. Certain whenever you get on certain different speaker systems, like it could sound good in your headphones, then you take it to your car and then that vocal is just EQ'd way too hot. So you need to be very careful when you're boosting high end in your vocals. One last section that I wanna show you guys, and that is the echo that's happening in this chorus. Again, this is a stock Logic plugin. Oh, she took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry. You hear all that echo tail? I'll turn it off so you can hear it without it. Oh, she took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry goodbye. Red dirt and gravel flying. Sounds good, but with this delay tail in it, it just has a different energy and it sits in the mix great. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry goodbye. Red dirt. Another thing that I like to do with this simple delay here is to color it and make it pretty dark. I just like the coloring whenever this this slider is more towards the darker side. I don't know why, it just fits in the better, it just fits better in the mix to me. Oh, she took off in a so there's our delay happening. The last thing I wanna show you guys is I got bust out here, just some chroma verb. So here's without it. Oh, she took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry goodbye. Super dry, but sounds really good. But well, here it is with a little bit of verb. She took off in a fast car like Bonnie no cry good. And this is so easy, guys, because this is the room verb. This is the plate room verb that just comes up whenever you pull up this, this plug-in. So I literally, I created a bus, dropped on chroma verb, and simply turned it on. She took off in a fast car like... And it sounded great. So that's pretty much it, guys. I got stock compressors happening on my stack. I've got the Logic de -esser. And I've got the tube EQ happening on this main vocal stack. Whenever it comes to my lead vocal in the chorus, I've got one simple compressor, some EQ, more de -essing. pretty much the same thing happening on my lead double, except I have that sample delay, which delays, gives you that stereo effect on your vocal, makes a nice vocal, that way you don't have to sing it twice. You can just have one lined up vocal and split it that way have a little bit of compression on that. Then it goes to my vocal stack here. Again, another EQ, a little bit of high boost up there. And we stack in a couple of EQs, got our de -esser and our tube EQ. So not a whole lot going on as far as compression and EQ. And there's not a whole lot going on besides on the verb and delay end of things. Again, this is all Logic stock stuff. I think this sounds great. So there's no reason why you can't achieve this kind of vocal mix with the tools that you have at home right now on your laptop. Hope you guys learned something from this. If you're getting some out of this, please hit the like button, subscribe. Let's get this channel where more people can see it. Appreciate you guys' support. We'll see you next time.